Okay, here we are again. Uh, this is Purgatory 3 Anakim. Oddly enough for me, Anakim is always my biggest trouble. Gabriel and Asmodeus don't tend to cause me too much trouble, but he does. I don't know why. Anyway, so I loaded up on my needles. I would rather have had double needles here going into Paradise Lost. And I've got my Tempest, which is really handy. And of course, still some Wrath of God. And I'm sitting at 1.5 million. So getting through Anakim is real, really the story here. So I'm just going to go old school and pelt him up with lightning. And then deal with these critters. So yeah, so Lightning 3 gets him done pretty quick. One of the things you want to make sure you are doing is hitting him. So just don't let him walk into stuff because you can see all our gremlins up here. Should I stick around and try and take more out and get some more points? Yeah, maybe, but not such a big deal. So I blew through my lightning. I've got a quiver. I'm going to grab the cat now, load him up, and let's just top up our Wrath of God. 1.51, virtually no points with Anakim, but again, for me, maybe it's me, I don't know. Uh, Anakim will generally be my roadblock, especially in uh, cycle five, cycle six, and cycle seven. That's where I tend to go sideways, so I tend to just like to get rid of them right off the bat. Okay, Paradise Lost, three. Again, one, five, one. Be nice to get to one, six, five. Uh, the only way to do that is to get lots of knights with my needles. I wish I had another rack of needles to do that, but we do with what we can. And that's part of what this game is, is trying to figure out how to manage your resources to the best of your abilities. All right, this is a great way to come up here. We shoot up there. We've got a couple knights. Again, a little sloppy. I haven't played for a while, so... I'm a little sloppy. All right, witches will also give us some nice points. First of all, I want to take care of these. Uh, whoops. This is nice. You can just shoot your tempest right through the walls. I'm sure most of you know that, but if you're a newer player, then you can do that. Cupids, our biggest trouble. And, uh, the nice thing is they're, they're pretty impatient. So I've got a couple monks back here. I'm trying to leave the witch alone. Because I want her to come and show you this, that we can rack up some points here. So we got 8154. Let's see if we can get a, a witch to come by. Nice and close. I don't want to expose myself at this point. This is a tricky little map. We're going to have lots of trouble up top in a minute, but I'll show you how you can deal with that if you like to do it the lazy way. All right. Once again, I don't mess around with cupids too much. Ah, there you are. So watch this one. 8730. Didn't have time to deal with them. Perfect example of racing to my uh, bow to demonstrate a point, and then I end up grabbing the wrong thing. But anyway, we'll uh, see what else we can find. Uh, there's another one. Okay. We are at 9662. We come in. And we'll pop back here quickly just to show you the score. So from 9162 to 1475, uh, a couple grand, I believe. So the witches are going to get you a couple grand. Again, not afraid to use my Tempest here in Paradise Lost 3. I do not like it when a Cupid takes me out. Okay. 
So I mentioned this is a bit of an annoying map. We have got a whole bunch of trouble up there. So we're just going to spray up some cataclysms to soften them up. And that's going to shake up that level. Got a little bit of trouble above me here. I'm going to shake them up. And up there. And I've got a fellow there. Cupid there. This is not getting me a whole lot of points, but it is softening. Softening up everybody. All right, I'm gonna grab some points with that witch. So I let her do her thing. And you are just a little bit behind me. There you go. All right. Not really racking up points yet. One five two four. We're trying to get this to one six five. Whoa, who's that? Again, into my tempest. Take him down. All right. Take a peek up here. Alrighty. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of trouble back there that we're not going to pay attention to at the moment. What I'd like to do is I'm going to go way, way up top there. And, oh, it's not quite where I want it to be. Again. All right, I got a blood. Needles are my friend. Take the Cupid. So, you can see that this originally would have been full of stuff. But because we did the softening up with the cataclysm, get some points, we're able to handle it. Sometimes when you come up here and you haven't softened it up, you have got a festival. There's our headshot again. I right, got another witch back there. Let's see what else we got. Pretty quiet. So yeah. Make sure I got no cupids to give me some grief. And needles. One five three three. Oh, hello. There's a whole festival of cupids up there. <laughs> All right, circle back. I know they're here. Oh. Wasted a tempest there. Back up. And once again, you can see in these higher levels, I am definitely playing safe. We're definitely uh, not letting ourselves get in a whole lot of trouble. Although I do have a lamb to spare here. Continue climbing up. Let's see if we can pick this guy out here. Just grab his wing. Boom. As long as you can see a wing, you've got a shot at him. Okay, don't like this again. There's something over here that came down. Headshot. Again, Paradise Lost 3. Aim for the center of the head when he faces you. And uh, you got a good shot at him. So shake things up. Whoa, there he goes. Okay. All right, I can still make a mistake. You. Are you? I hear you. Oh, there you are. Again, through the wall. Take care of things. Ooh, 
Okay, another Tempest. Now, suddenly, so when I first started this game, this particular round, the game was very stingy. All of a sudden now, it's giving me some nice stuff. Kind of glitch. Let's grab some more points there. One, five, three, eight. Working our way up. Okay, now I know I've got that Tempest. Still got a full rack of Wrath. I'm just going to leave this Tempest alone. Keep it in mind. Anything in here? Nope. All right. Let's come over here. Take care of you. Now I could shoot my Tempest right through there. But I want to get a little more points here. Again, a couple thousand points there. I'm not getting any knights, so we'll certainly take them. And I'm not afraid to use my Tempest at this point. There's the headshot on the monk because I'm going to go back and grab that other one. Yeah, we still got some noise. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up a quiver, so I'm going to soften them up there as well. Really nice technique <laughs> using. Whoa, hello. What have I got going on here? All right, we got visited real quick there. That's the downside of using that. Something shot me or tried to shoot me. You. I think there's a you. Ah, I snuck one in. Snuck one in. Oh, dirty rat. That's okay, I know I've got a blood back there. What's going on here? I can't get up there. Got a blood of a lamb back there. I'll go back and get that when I grab my Tempest. So things should have been pretty, pretty much cleaned out in here. Just for fun. Everybody's gone. They all got blown apart. Get rid of you. Again, cupids I don't like. Don't mind drawing in the monks. They're welcome to come. One, five, four, five. I don't think I'm going to make my goal of uh, one, six, five, oh, but maybe if I get an orphan. Let's try and get this guy in the head. Oh, oh a little short. Ah, there he is. You can always tell the headshot. It's good sounding smack. <laughs> okay, let's go get the switch. Okay. You two friends. Oops, wrong one. And that little mistake was not good. Grabbing the wrong arrow can get you uh, shot, as they say. And again, wrong arrow. All right, your turn. All right, Paradise Lost. Should be somebody back here? Nope. All right. Okay, not stellar. Um, one, five, four, eight. If I can grab an orphan on the next round, I should be able to break uh, one, six. And then maybe three or 100,000 in the abyss, and we can get close to our two million. I'm not sure we're going to make uh, make what we were trying to do. All right, I know there's a tempest back here. Still got a fair amount of tempest, but uh, let's 
seem to have lost. There's the little lamb. I think he was up here. It's funny, you, you go through the game and you think you remember where everything is. Hmm. This becomes an interesting question. Eight of those or a whole bunch of Tempest? I'm going to go with a whole bunch of Tempest. That could come back to haunt me uh, when we get to Asmodeus, because we do like to have some sort of cataclysm when we're with Asmodeus, but uh, maybe we'll pick one up. Let's go into this bell tower and see what we got. I don't know if I can get there. Nope. All right, let's go see what we have in the bell tower. Here we are, let's go. Just jump right in. Ah, there's our orphan. Not sure where he is. to settle here. I got my orphan. <laughs> uh, I'm going to grab that quiver and load up on my Wrath of God again. Try and get some points. So much like the pit in Purgatory 3, that was a little bit of chaos. Um, did I give up a bunch of points with throwing the Wrath out like that? I sure did. But I probably saved myself a bit because I did take a sacrificial double hit. Now moving further on into the next levels, orphans will not be as much interest to me. Only if they're really easy to find. So kind of at the end of my Easy orphan levels, although in the abyss they tend to be quite easy. But now we're getting into a situation where not so much. Again, I take care of those cupids, they are a problem. And uh, always be hunting cupids. Okay, so 1197, let's just again confirming. When I say 1197, that's just so you can see. Uh, that was only 1600, that was bad. That was not a big deal. Just trying to get points. Let's go right at the switch. And you. All right, you want to take them out. Should be stuff around here. All right, we're going to get out of here. Once again, I'm a little exposed here. So we'll just wait for our friends to show up. really like him this too much. So I just used my Wrath of God just to get back into a corrective situation there. I don't like being cornered like that. Holy Wind and a Wildfire. 
So I'm often really managing my weapons and thinking, how do I get out of a certain situation? I hear you, but I don't see you. There you are. Okay, again, looking in the face. Paradise lost three, lots of time. 1.58. Getting on track to get to our All right, where are you? Go. Where are you? Okay. Moving along. Let's see what's up here. Can get rid of that cupid. Get down. Number one defense strategy, teleport arrow. Just get out of town when you're not feeling comfortable. Let them come to you. Really dictate the play. I think that's really the number one tip. See if you can dictate the tip play. I see you. Bye bye. Regular arrow for you. Oh. Do not like cupids. Okay, there we go. Another one. I'll just pick you out. Oh, you got away on me. There you go. Bye bye. All right. Ah. Uh. Out of line of sight. Okay. Don't spend too much time admiring your score. Or you're gonna get schmucked. <laughs> Alright, there's a knight. Got a few more. Uh... Got a few more uh, needles. To make use of those knights, let's see if we can rack up some more scoring. All right, and you. Oh, something's bothering me. Again, sounded like a witch. More trouble over here. Take care of cupids. TCC. Okay, what do we got? Eight, five, three, six. Let's see what happens. Ooh, pretty good. So we went from eight, five, three, six to nine, eight, five, five. That was well worth it. So let's go see if we can find another one. I only got two left. All right, and a quiver, and we're gonna reload our needles. Needles is the scoring mechanism, as you've begun to see. Another knight. All right, excellent. Okay, we got her to 1.6. Now we just gotta make sure we don't do anything silly. So I'm gonna jump up here. Quick recon. Cupids, 
going down. Okay. Let's regroup. All right. All right. Gotta hide. Gotta hide. Get myself in a little bit of a pickle here. We'll be out of it shortly. All right. So I decided to hang on to my needles for the nights. Because they're going to give me a lot better score. Let's go way up top again if we can. Okay, I got a knight there. Let's go take another look. And I got a cupid there. I got you there. So going up high too is another great strategy as you get up here. As long as these cupids aren't in your way, it gives you a kind of that bird's eye look at the map. All right. Gotta take care of you. Nice little headshot there. All right. Come on, buddy. Here he comes. So, 3507 needles. Let him hit. And uh, 4827. 1300. Not great. Good enough. Not bad. I think the witches are better. Sometimes it depends on how close the needles are to the target. Ah! That was annoying. I really get annoyed when you get, um, you have your shield out and it still takes you. That's a little frustrating. But that's the game. That was my mistake. I should have just taken him out when I could if I was trying to get too cute with the needles and racking those points up. All right, gotta run again. Whenever you feel uncomfortable, just back out. Needles are up.
That was an adventure. <laughs> Not playing great today. Um, that's how it goes. But uh, find a way to get through. Now. Uh, this is big decisions. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna take my cat three. I don't know how bad I wanna take. I don't know how bad I wanna take him down. Alright, and a quarter. Yeah, you know, I, I just like Tempest a lot. So I don't have Hand of God yet again. It takes some time before I get that back. Uh, so, yeah, one point six one seven. Hmm, just trying to think this through. I'm going to take um, a couple of needle shots at him. And see if we can. Uh, Get the score up a little bit. Without putting myself in a lot of trouble. Well, you know, I never like to see that, but it happens. <laughs> Part of the game. And now I am in a really good spot to. Um, This is a good demo. So imagine I had him. In a hand of God. And I don't really want to show this as part of my two million run. But again, it's part of the game. It happens. And uh, we were at 617. But you can see how much it takes to take this little this fella down. He's tough. And that took us right up to 1643. So, yeah, you can see. So had I had a hand of God, probably would have loved to um, hold him with hand of God and then uh, finish him off there. Wow. This also becomes the big decision point. Well, I'm going to hang on to that Tempest. I just love, love, love Barrage of Needles for scoring. Uh, full up, why leave it empty? Throw in for that extra Wrath of God. So we're down a life. But we're at 1643. Only 7,000 short of the 150, but thanks to my little fella up there. <laughs>